Right then boys, we've got some drag racing for you. Some proper drag racing with some proper gnarly motors. Let's meet the drivers. Hello mate, what's your name? It's Christian. Right then Christian, you've got a Corsa here. Looks like it could almost be standard, but that's definitely not the case with your motor, is it? Tell us what you've got. Hey, it's got a Kleber turbo engine mm -hmm. on a EDS phase three and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, roughly pushing 325 brake. 225 brake horsepower. 325. 325 brake horsepower, even better. What about top speed? What do you think you've had out of this car? Um, 170. 170 in a Corsa there, boys. Should we have a look under the hood? See the two litre turbocharged engine fully crammed in there. Is that a tough conversion? Is it a lot of work? Not really. Uh huh. It's easy enough done. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it going up the strip. Let's, uh, let's see what else we've got. Cheers, fella. Good afternoon, sir. What's Hi. your name? It's Tony. Hello, Tony. What have you brought down for us today? Uh, Toyota Suica GT4. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the ST205 version. Right. Proper power? What are we uh, talking here? We're running some... around 500 horsepower at the moment. Just, just the 500. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. bad. That's like nearly F1 territory it's, sort of thing there. Yeah, we're trying. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. And do you race it, drag racing? We stuff do quite a lot of drag racing with really, it, yeah. Um, so you're an experienced driver when it comes to quick launches. Um, getting the hang of it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, best, we've done, best quarter we've done is 11.8 at 122 with it. So that's quick. So yeah. in just over 11 seconds, you've covered a quarter of a mile when you're doing yeah. 130 miles an hour. Well, that's quick. Yeah. That's a fast car. Yeah. The car's running sweet? Yeah. All right. No complaints at the moment. Good, good. Well, down to the driver then, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. There's no pressure. <laughs> Very shiny, very chrome, very nice. Just uh, talk us around what you got under there, fella. Yeah, it's a GT30 turbo on there that's been developed at Fensport. Um, mm. All the intercooler pipes and that all handmade there. Um, all polished and chromed and mm -hmm. ready to go. Hello there, mate. What's your name? Uh, my name's Adrian. Hello, Adrian. What have you brought down for us today, mate? I've brought a Toyota Corolla. Uh huh. Is it a naughty one? It is a little bit special. Yes. Uh, it's a four wheel drive turbocharged two litre engine, um, basically from the Celica GT4. And have you had any quick runs in the car this year? Uh, we have. We've done a 10.9 at 132 miles an hour at Shakespeare County Raceway. That's very fast. And Ferraris? I mean, Ferraris aren't even in that ballpark, aren't they? No, we've raced some Ferraris before and they'd do an average of 13.5s. So they spend all that money on a supercar, you just blow away. That's right, yeah. That's, that's the fun of it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well done. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you up the strip, but let's have a quick look under the hood first. Another beautifully prepared engine bay there. And I think the first thing that hits us in the face is that turbo there. What have you got in there, fella? It's a Garrett GT 3035 turbocharger and can flow up to about 630 horsepower. Blimey. Power comes in quite nice, fairly smooth. Yeah. Um, the car picks up about 300 horsepower from uh, 4,000 RPM to 5,500 RPM, so it comes in fairly steep there. And then it'll hold boost right the way through to about 8,500 RPM. Awesome, so the red line's at 8,500? Yes. Wow, so that's screaming and that's just going screams. bananas. Absolutely screaming. Fantastic, oh, this is the one for me. Looking forward to this one. What's your name, mate? My name's Chris. Where are you from, Chris? Uh, Regal Auto Sports. Gotcha. Now, this is one of your sort of company demo cars, is it? Yes. So, not too crazy, but still a little bit crazy. Yes, uh, correct, Dan. It's um, a company demo car. Uh -huh. uh, we bought it from like uh, brand new, mm -hmm. mainly to service customers that uh, have got uh, brand new Astras, mm -hmm. but uh, want to play about with their cars, but still retain 100% reliability. What about the power side of things? What's she doing? Power side, she's uh, now running about 270 brake, 300 foot pounds of torque. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're looking for a nice wheel spin start, lots of smoke, and you slamming it through the gears and disappearing. Oh yeah, we should have a lot of popping and banging, and yeah, uh, yeah. and a bit of wheel spin as well. Oh, we'll give them a good run for the money. Two litre turbo charged again. Yeah, two litre turbo charged. Uh, it's obviously used every day, so uh, it's got all the modified bits, but they're all like uh, stealth like. Awesome, mate. Right, we'll see you on the strip, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you much. Now then boys, we've saved you the maddest till last. This black beast of a Nova is probably one of the craziest cars I've ever seen. Hello mate, what's your name? It's Will. All right, Will, nice to meet you mate. And what is this monster? Well, it's <coughs> Vauxhall Nova, mm -hmm. with a Kleber turbo engine in the front. Right. And uh, we weren't happy with that, so we put one in the back as well. Right, of course, as you would do. So we've got two two litre turbocharged engines. Uh, both engines are putting 370 out, right. using uh, both got triple K26 turbochargers, uh -huh. EDS phase four software, modified gearboxes with Quaif diffs in them. Uh -huh. um, 
It looks like a monster. This thing does go like a monster. I know. What's the best 0-60 out of this? Yeah, 2.83. 2.83? That's ridiculous, man. There's number one. So tell us a bit about it. It's pretty tuned up, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is really. We use a twin charge core system. We use one in the front for the front engine, obviously, one for the back engine. Increased size top hats, uh, larger throttle bodies, bigger turbos, um, aluminium radiator, which mm -hmm. runs both engines. Yep. Uh, all the water runs underneath the car and then comes back through the roll cage. So it cools down, obviously, on the way back. Uh, awesome. Total capacity is 33 litres of water right. for both the engines. And if you come around the back, I'll show you okay. the back one. Yep, it is true, boys. It really is two two litre turbocharged engines in this car. That's your rear engine. Uh huh. Same spec as the front engine exactly. Uh, we run a 70 litre fuel tank right at the back of the car, and we run three fuel pumps: one to prime up the swirl pot, and then one for each engine separately. Excellent. Well, that's a testament to your engineering skills, boys. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And you've got to see it from the back as well. When you look at this car from the back, with the wide arches and the wide wheels, I mean, it is just the meanest Nova ever. It's just fat, isn't it? Yeah, totally. She's a monster, mate. I can't wait to see this car. Right then, boys. Well, we've lined up five of very gnarly motors for you. All very quick. Some will be possibly quicker than others, and some will be ridiculously quick. So, uh, let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? Smoke, look at that Corolla go, man. He just shot off the line like he was in a catapult. He's gone, man. There's no way the other guys are going to catch him. Wow, that Corolla was awesome. He did the standing quarter mile in 12.13 seconds. The Celica, 13.20. The Nova 14.11, the Corsa 15.10, and finally the Astra at 19.08 seconds. Absolutely awesome racing there. Fantastic start. How did that feel? Absolutely brilliant. Perfect start, uh, perfect gear changes all the way through the run. Yeah, you were flying. This thing absolutely shot off. I thought I'd been launched in the cab hole. It was fantastic. It's an excellent feeling when it all comes together. Yeah, totally, mate. You've got to be pleased with that. Now, this is like about a 30 grand car, would you say? It's a 30 grand car um, with uh, probably three or four hundred man hours to build it and put it together as well. Uh, so 30 grand plus. Yeah. But how would you say it would fare against something like 105 grand's worth of Aston Martin? Mm, Aston Martin's always been my dream car, so we'll really? have to see. Mm, you fancy about that, do you? Mm. All right then, stay there, sir. And hello, mate. What's your name? What are you doing here? I'm Brian. Okay. And I just thought I'd come to give him good kicking. Right, fair enough. So you've got an Aston, 105 grand's worth. What's she packing under the bonnet? She's a V12, six litre, 420 horsepower. Mm. Proper car. Yeah, proper car, proper expensive car, and some respectable figures. So I think we'd better settle this on the track, boys, wouldn't you reckon? Okay, let's go for it. Let's do it. Now wasn't that sweet, a hundred grand's worth of Aston Martin whooped by a Max Corolla. And that's how to do it boys, better your driving skills and better your performance. And that's how to get yourself some Max Power Carnage.